like my junior brother, I talk to him a lot. Because, listen, I'm kind of confused. I don't even know if Buko Banku still wanted to fight or not. Because I believe he have that mentality to fight as a fighter, to become somebody in life and make money. But I don't understand the reason why he doesn't take this boxing serious. My advice to him that he should take boxing serious because he was known through boxing. So he has to make sure that he do the boxing, make the boxing proud, make Ghana proud, do something with the boxing. That's my advice to him. And he's in the media for the wrong reasons every day. What effects do you think it will have on his career? Well, uh, I think um, a lot. Because you know God in heaven. He always pay price to people that they do bad and good things. So when you do a lot of bad things, God will pay you a price. If you do a good thing, God will pay you a price. Well, uh, he always say that the people are always trying to intimidate him. They insult him. That's the reason why sometimes he throws his hands. I keep telling him that. Leave them. Go to police station, report to the police station. Let police arrest them. Then you beat them. And he told me that he's not going to do that again. So I believe and I'm sure that he's not going to do that again. And you think that's going to help him reclaim his image? Yeah, you know, one thing about him is he's a good guy. He's a very funny guy. He's a good guy. We love to be around him. Just that a little bit proud about his day. Maybe he doesn't know how to control his heart, throw his hands on the street. That's the only problem about Buko Banku, but he's a very nice guy.